Thanks, health and the food that we eat. Thanks for joining us. I'm Melissa Langbed. And I'm Brad Hanson. New tonight at 6, we ask, what about the water you swim in or fish in? News 9's Austin Schindler has been digging deeper. He joins us live in Rib Mountain with more. Yeah, Brad, it's been nothing but a honey of a day out here, and for once I'm not sweating profusely. But all things considered, the DNR tells me there are PFAS in this water. And while they say residents shouldn't be overly worried, they should still be aware of it. Whether you fish for sport or for a meal, there's no shortage of catches in the Wisconsin River. But rising concerns about so-called forever chemicals in groundwater has led the State Department of Natural Resources to a troubling conclusion. The more we look for it, we, we do find it uh, pretty much everywhere, so PFAS is kind of found throughout the state. That includes in the river and all the fish in it. The DNR says while levels will differ depending on location, any fish you reel in could have some amount of PFAS in it. Fish and wildlife toxicologist Sean Strom says the DNR is closely monitoring how polluted the river is and will warn against fishing for food if necessary. There are certain areas where the levels are high enough to warrant a, a specific consumption advisory. For anglers out Monday, they aren't sure if the future holds calm or murky waters. I haven't really been concerned about the fish. You know, if I'm drinking the water directly, maybe. But I don't know, in small quantities, I don't know how bad it would be. The DNR has a safe eating guideline for fish, depending on age and gender. For example, women under the age of 50 are advised to eat no more than one serving of panfish per week, and bigger fish such as walleye, bass, catfish once per month. But there is no one-size-fits-all guide. So we encourage people to fish, and we encourage people to take some home to eat, but we just also encourage them to follow our, uh, our consumption advisories. The best bet? Know where your fish are coming from and how clean their home is. Now the DNR also suggests if you're going to eat fish, try to make them the younger and smaller fish. If you need more information on the consumption guide, you can find it on our website. Live in Rib Mountain, Austin Schindler, News 9, WAOW.